optimization problem. We wish to find the dimensions of a soup can that uses the minimum amount of metal and hold 16 pi cubic inches of soup. That's about 28 fluid ounces of soup as we can see here. Okay, so this is, uh, we're trying to find the uh, optimal amount of uh, metal, we want, which happens to be a minimum in this case. We, don't, we want to use as little metal as possible so we can save money, I suppose. And the soup can has a height H and a radius of the top and bottom R. And R and H are greater than zero. So the first thing we want to do is get some kind of formula for the area, surface area. And we know that, of course, we've got uh, pi r squared gives us the area of the top, which is also the area of the bottom. And then we have the cylinder part, which is uh, will be uh, uh, the distance around the tin can times its height. So the distance around the can is 2 pi r times h. So now we have a nice formula, and I say the area equals this, and notice I put sub min. That means I want to minimize that area. Uh, the only problem is I've got three variables, a, r, and h. So I need some sort of constraint, and we have one. Uh, the constraint, the one that constrains the variables is the fact that the uh, volume has to be at most, six, it has to be, not at most, it has to be 16 pi uh, cubic inches. Uh, by the way, here's the uh, a min uh, simplified a little bit. I added these two together and got 2 pi r squared. So I take the volume, which is 16 pi inches cubed, and I say, well, the volume of a, uh, any cylinder like that is the area of the base times the height. And the area of the base is just pi r squared times h. And I simplify that a bit. Maybe I should write big, make that a little bit bigger. I think that's probably, the, these movies come out a little fuzzy, so I can make that a little bigger. And um, there it is. Uh, there's uh, what h equals. And now I substitute that into uh, right here for h into the area formula. I get this, and then of course I can multiply and reduce the fraction, and I get uh, my final area formula here. The a, which I'm trying to minimize, is 2 pi r squared plus, um, make that a little bigger, uh, 32 pi over r. And it's in one variable. I mean, it's uh, a, sorry, it's in two variables, a and r now, but where, where we had two variables on the right side, we now have one. So that's very good, and, and one of the ways we uh, do uh, find maximum minimums, for c certainly, is to take the derivative. Okay, so I'm going to take the derivative of a, and when I do that, I get this expression. I get a common denominator, and I say, well, the critical points are what make this undefined right here. If I have zero for r, it'll be undefined, and also what makes zero the top of this expression zero. In other words, I set this, those are where I get critical points, where the expression is undefined and where the expression equals zero, or the top equals zero. Well, zero is not in our domain. R has to be greater than zero, as we stated earlier. So I just set the top of the rational expression to zero, and I get R cubed equals eight. You might want to stop and solve that to make sure that's true. And R equals two inches. But is 2 a minimum value for the radius? In other words, this is one of our uh, minimum values. And uh, let's see if it really is. Actually, I probably should have said, is 2 a minimum value for the uh, surface area? But is, um, is 2 actually a minimum? OK, so what do I do? I look at my derivative on the number line, right? And I run it from 0, which is undefined right there. It has to be greater than 0, all the way up to 100, if I like. And here's 2, and I plug in 1. And when I plug in 1, I notice that this function is negative. So that means a itself is decreasing. Then if I plug in a really big number in here, I find that it's positive. So it has to be positive in this entire region, going all the way out. So I see that my function a is decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. The derivative is 0, and then it's increasing. So we have a minimum at r equals 2. And uh, now if I need to find the height of the can, I simply go back to this formula. Um, height equals 16 over r squared, right? So if I put in 2 for r, I get h equals 4. So my dimensions of the tin can with the least amount of surface area, or, use, or one that utilizes the least amount of metal, is r equals 2 and h equals 4 inches.